rule. Jeff Reed kicks it off, two figures. Missed the Cleveland game with a hamstring injury. Hit down at the 17, let the hard hitting begin. Lawrence Timmons gets it going on the opening kickoff. And he was uh, sized up by Haruki Nakamura, the rookie's safety for the Ravens. Continue to tend to him. We'll step out for a second. Okay, first snap. Flacco lost it, got it back, lost a couple of yards. Second at 11. And McGahee, the first run. James Farrier there to clean it up. There's two games with a heel injury. Third down, and the rookie Flacco throws incomplete. And uh, on cue, it is Townsend seeing his first action there in coverage on Derek Mason. Three and out for the Ravens. This is when the Ravens love to bring their blitzes. Heath Miller back there in the backfield next to Roethlisberger. Have a smart guy, an experienced guy to help pick up some of the pressure. Ben directing and throwing to Holmes. A flag down in the secondary. Santonio has a first down for 45. 19 if it stands up. Second and 10. Hitting the hole quickly. Mendenhall gets about eight yards. Third and two. Ray Lewis made the tackle. Confusion. See again, they go four wide. Mendenhall out. Davis in. High snap there. And it didn't look right. Because it was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's a flag afterwards as there was conversation. Antoine Barnes of the Ravens was involved with Santonio Holmes. He's ungodly talking. Well, there you go, the slap on the head. There are Barnes. fouls by both teams on the play. First, we have a false start offense, number 73. And we have personal foul defense, number 50. Personal foul offense, number 10. All penalties will offset. We will play third down. Roethlisberger finds the space, finds Nate Washington to the 35-yard line. They picked up a dozen. It's a Steeler first down again for the Steelers. And Mendenhall, good, lanes to gain a dozen. First down. Jaws, you mentioned the fact that uh, Roethlisberger was pounded last week. 57, that's Ray Lewis and Bart Scott, those inside guys Jaws was talking about. A whole bunch of them coming. And getting to Roethlisberger as Corey Ivey. The corner came in to get the sack. That was very similar to what happened a week ago. Indeed. Very accurate. In a tough place to kick field goals, Reed bangs one through for the game's first points. Could be worth a photo on the internet for you Reed fans. Lots of them out there. Consistent basis. From the backside, brought down by 2007's Mr. Monday Night, James Harrison. He had three and a half sacks, a fumble recovery, and a pick on a Monday night here last year. And the, Harrison got the matchup on and just whipped them. Sam Cook, another good punt, 52 yards. Santonio Holmes setting up blocks and tripped up at the 44 as he was trying to cut it up. Derek Martin. Again for the Steelers, leading 3 0. And a first down throw for Pittsburgh, and they've got a deep throw going. One problem, it's going the other way. Pelote Natag comes up with it for the Ravens. There's nobody in a black jersey anywhere near that ball. It looked like he was going deep. At that would help. Second and 21, and a good go. throw from Flacco is a few yards shy of the first down. To the veteran Derek Mason, 12. Quick pass. Quick pass. Or come in. Polamalu tried to jump the route, but the pass was caught by Demetrius Williams for the first down. Can you say arm strength? Troy Polamalu did a fantastic job of reading the eyes of Joe Flacco, and Joe's going, wow, where did he come from? Smith gets sick. And hi, Joe, you're the quarterback. Toss to McGahee. Tackled by Woodley. Third and about five or six coming up. To, to follow that story, they moved up, actually, to number 18. From the, the kid can throw. 
Third down, can't take a sack in field goal range. Strike is punt for the hello. first down hello. by Mason hello. at the 17-yard right. line. Flacco second and eight to the end zone. Eight out of bounds. Mason couldn't get him down. Three snaps. 22 have been run. So right. obviously they get in this area. John Harbaugh's thinking, okay, let's at least get three. I love the play call. Bradford knows they are a predominant run to this area. Well, that was a really good throw. Oh. So close. I mean, he caught the back ball on that one. It's a small sample. Third and eight. Good. Flacco almost intercepted Lawrence Timmons who's playing more and more every day for the Steelers. From 33 to tie the game. Many of you know this Ravens franchise moved from Cleveland, the old Cleveland Browns. Stover kicked for that group in the early 90s. All tied, 3-3. Three, three. And then a tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally you know, no, he's he's right. Come no. on now, he's a big guy and he gets hit. Yeah, no kidding. Figures from the 46, picked up a block, return of four, and the field position has shifted in this game, advantage Baltimore the last couple of drives. Entire league at 3 0, with three division wins? Come on. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. a big part, Tony, you're right. With have three division wins, six and a half yard run from McGahee, and, and second and four, and a big opening for McGahee to the 32 yard line. First down, Lawrence Timmons brought him down. Let me just. Uh, Clean some of the thing about Billick. If you, nobody can be against you on that team. 29 is a power running here. LeRon McLean, three yards to the 26 yard line. You know, well, the four man rush to the Steelers. And it's McGahee getting the first down to the 20 yard line. The Baltimore offensive line is doing a Really solid job the last couple of drives. Back to the inside, picking up the first down. Ben Grubbs, last year's first round pick out of Auburn with a good block. And McGahee goes right side. They're getting five, six yards on the ground on first down. The defenders for Baltimore on the sidelines wondering what on earth is going on. Ed Reed told us the other day, we never have 10 play drives. We we, we don't know what to do. He slimmed out. You like, you like my feet? Let me help myself out here. Second and five. Quick one out to Derek Mason. Good job by Mason to fight off the would-be tackle by Ike Taylor, and the flag comes down with the hand by the face mask. Might be a first down plus taking it inside the five. <laughs> All right, LeBeau's not going to blitz on this play. Quick inside run with McGahee, and he will be two yards short. It'll be an extra point length field goal to try to give the Ravens the lead. Ravens defense is not familiar with that. They're used to seeing three and out. Officially 20 yards for Stover, good from 33. Knocks it in from 20 in the 2-0 Baltimore Ravens. Lead 6-3. From the 20, Ben lost his shoe on the way out and now lost eight yards thanks to Terrell Suggs. And I know the defenses for Philly and Baltimore are good. But nothing open for Ben. Then down again. Ball comes out. Was he down or is it ball out? Nope. It's going to be down and fourth down and those are boos. boos. Those are boos that you're hearing. There's probably there aren't five stadiums in America where the fans are more partisan than they are right here in Pittsburgh. And they don't boo the Steelers. You boo the Steelers. You have to really do something bad. Yeah, and Tony, that was a sack with a four-man rush. They dropped show coming up. Thank you. Last three drives, the Steelers have gone three and out. High floater by Berger is going to get Baltimore the ball in Steeler territory. Just a 34-yard no-return kick. Right. right. Baltimore has two timeouts. It needs about 10 or 15 yards to get the field goal range. Great blitz pickup by McGahee. The pass to Mason's incomplete. Just couldn't keep him in. He scraped his toes there. There's the ball. Make sure he yes. Goes. Yes. And make sure he goes down and maintains possession all the way through. After review, the ruling is a completed catch. The runner did get both feet down and maintain control of the ball. It will be first down Baltimore at the 31-yard line. The ball will be placed on the left hash mark.
What a terrific job by Derek Mason. Of course, we saw John Harbaugh smiling on the sideline. He wins his challenge. It's the tight end Todd Heap in motion. And Flacco underneath McLean has room for the first down. And a nice cut by LeBron McLean, who takes it inside the five into the two yard line. 26 yards, 32 seconds left. You gotta watch the clock. I take my last time out here, and they do. They, uh, the, the Steelers missed the coverage, and Flacco couldn't get it over to Ray Rice, and a marker's down. Rice was standing there. They're all himself. alone. <laughs> if I had a football, I wanted to throw it to him. Are there 12 Steelers on the field? Seven, eight, Illegal formation. Nope. Nope. Offense. 11. Number 71, the left tackle, was uncovered on the play. There's a five yard penalty. Replay first down. They spread it out. False start. Right tackle, Adam Terry. He says Woodley induced the move. Big old group out there <laughs> right now. <laughs> we got everybody near 300 pounds. And Flacco will throw for his first National Football League touchdown to Daniel Wilcox. 12-3. Baltimore. Well, they came out with a run personnel. They ran the play action fake. Daniel Wilcox with a nice release to the corner of the end zone. You'll see Palomalo step up on the play, play fake. You'll see Wilcox get behind him. Perfect throw at the corner pylon. As my old coach Sid Gilman used to say, also a friend of John Harbaugh, meet me at the corner. 13-3, the Ravens lead it over the Steelers who get the ball to start the second half. From the 33, first decent field position in a while. They reverse Nate Washington. Got away from Jared Johnson and able to make a gain on the play and John that'll cost him five. Well, the, what, what after this play, personal foul, defense, number 95, 15-yard penalty added to the end of the first down. Roethlisberger keeping, you saw this little space there, Jaws, and just able to get positive yardage out of it. And six Ravens come. Then got rid of it. Caught. Santonio Holmes. Touchdown. Taking out. That's what they did. They went with the, the, the little no huddle. Get the ball. Get the line up on the ball. And let's go play. Nice job by Santonio Holmes right here. Good job by Ben Roethlisberger of finding him. Yeah. Then we have to try something new. This is a home game for us, and we're getting crushed. Let's do something new now. And it worked. Yeah. Pressure back on Flacco and the Baltimore offense. Cat, ball out, it's live. It's recovered and untouched with the score. That's always good. You get in this situation, got to get the ball in. He's waiting, waiting, waiting. Nothing open. Moves out of the pocket. James Harrison comes around the backside, makes the play. Lamar Woodley picks it up, takes it to the house. You'll see Harrison right there. Look at the shot he's got on Flacco. And the ball. Harrison saw the ball, knocked it out of his hand, takes Joe Flacco down in the play. Just got it off. Be careful, the ball's out again. Recovered by Marshall Yonda, the guard. And the Steeler defense heard from. You see Flacco walk off there. But first time under duress in the NFL and not doing well right now at all. You're... Another Sam Cook punt. More returnable, 49 yards. Santonio San Holmes turned it upfield and got six. The Rutgers in his second year has stepped in, done a decent job. Pressure on Roethlisberger. Got rid of the hit, wide open. Nate Washington. Cut back and down at the 10. And Roethlisberger able to elude a would-be sack with that size and get a gain of 49. Outstanding job by Ben Roethlisberger as Bart Scott comes in clean, whiffs on the tackle, Ben stays on his feet, 
Finds Hines, Tough Hines work. Ward down the field. What a terrific play by Ben Roethlisberger. For his four years. Second and goal. Time. Flag. First row. Contacted. Holding. Defense. Number 91. Your first down. Penalty is half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Eligible receiver, so he's okay on the end of the line. Moore, right. Not there. And much like last night's Eagles Bears game, it's 17 13 here. Field goal puts you up seven. Even Absolutely. though you're at the one yard line, this is the right call. Ab yeah, this game with 2014 career tackles added to that. So a 19 yard field goal for Jeff Reed. And the Steelers have a touchdown lead with 9.19 to go. Mark Clayton's been very quiet, receiver at the top tonight. It's been a lot of Derek Mason. Caught it at the 40 for the first down. About a half dozen catches now for Mason. This is the position I think that Mike Tomlin wanted Baltimore to be in late in the game. Second first down of the half. And a nice job tiptoeing through the hole and then powering through the would be tackle McLean steamrolled Polamalu and got the first down across midfield. Quarters already this year. The Cincinnati game comes to mind. Harrison couldn't get there off the edge and Mason has his seventh catch. He's now close to 100 yards in receiving. And a first down for Baltimore trying to get a game tying touchdown with seven minutes left. Second and eight, Woodley compresses the pocket, and Flacco goes down for a loss of five. Lamar Woodley and James Harrison are having a night and a half here tonight. Stunt is picked up, and the throw again, it's Mason! Got a block, Derek Mason! First and goal, Baltimore at the five. The gain is 35, and Deshae Townsend couldn't get it done. Great job by Joe Flacco. You can see the Ravens go to seven-man protection. They're going to allow this play to develop deep down the field, and once again, the arm strength of Joe Flacco. That's a tight window to get the football into. He squeezes it in. What a great job. And McLean bouncing. What a power run to the end zone. Touchdown. He just ran over Lawrence Timmons. Oh. McLean at 260, down from 278 when he reported to training camp. Just ran over Lawrence Timmons. That was a guy 6'1, 234. Ron McLean put his shoulder down and said, See you in the end zone in a tie game. Pittsburgh has one timeout left. Moore runs to the right. Gonna gain about six yards. Let me just go through the laundry list here. Looking left toward Moore. Got it. First down at Bart Scott. A step and a half late. The drive stays alive with 2.42 to go. To Moeldy Moore just a moment ago. Just need a couple of first downs to get into field goal range. And Moore bouncing it toward the outside. Gets to the 47. And that should take us to the two minute warning. So you figure the Steelers need about 20 yards to get field goal range. Red line, that's essentially field goal range. And it actually is a little bit of a helping win if he does have to kick one in that direction. First third down and five. Dan over the middle, deflected, incomplete. Was it Ray who got a hand on it? It San was Antonio Holmes was the guy who was going to get open. Gentlemen, this is the coin now that we will flip for overtime. The overtime rules are each team will have two team timeouts. Fourth quarter timing will be in effect. First team to score will win the game. Does any captain call the toss? The call is tails. It is a tail. Which way would you like to kick? We want to receive. Baltimore's won the toss and elected to receive. Flacco, 
Somehow they got rid of Woodley. A flag comes down as he throws downfield for Mason. Incomplete battling Bryant McFadden. Personal foul. Chop block. Defense. Penalty is half the distance to the goal. Replay second down. A plane left. Some space for Lamalu went to cut his legs out as he goes to the 15. And Troy has to scrape himself off of Heinz Field. Here they come. Flacco got to protect the ball as he's brought down. Lawrence Timmons able to get to him. The fifth sack of the Ravens quarterback tonight. Sam Cook the kick. Good toward the sideline. Tough to return. Holmes stays in bounds at the 40. Oh, and he gets hit at the 43 by Antoine Barnes, who was uh, helped off the field earlier. Terrible play, the penalty earlier in this game. We wouldn't be in this circumstance right now. Happy. This is third and eight. Then all over the map gets it to Moore. Made a man miss. Moeldi Moore taking it into field goal range to the 31 yard line. 24 huge yards for the Steelers. Second and 10. Oh, Moore fell down, and that's a loss of four yards. And that makes it a 53 yard field goal attempt if they can't gain any yardage on third down. That was a huge four yard loss. The wind has always been a problem kicking, especially the other way. Pressure comes. Roethlisberger got rid of it, and it's caught. And they got the yardage back in a couple of more with more. Good play by Ben. And it's going to be a 45 yard field goal attempt for the win by Reed. One time, says Tom. Snap good. Hold good. Kick. Good. Steelers win. By that much. <laughs> Susie Culver with Ben Roethlisberger. Ben, it was like a heavyweight fight that went 13 rounds. What was it like to be in the middle of that? I'm just glad we won. You know, our guys never backed down. We played terrible offensively in the first half, but they didn't back down. They fought through it, and we came out offensively and, and, and did well. Got to give a lot of kudos to our defense. What changed for you from the first half to the second half? Well, we started going no huddle, and I told I told Bruce and Tomlin, I said, let's let's pick up the pace. Let me call the plays. We did it. We looked really good doing it, and, uh, you know, it got successful. What were you thinking coming off last week's game, such a pounding, too, against Philly? Well, the biggest thing was just getting a win. And we're not going to say anything about it being a pretty win, but we got a win, and that's all that matters tonight. Congratulations. Thank you.